hi guys welcome back to my channel today we gonna learn how to make this amazing crochet cell phone holder i'm using this t-shirt yarn is very very good for this project because this type of t-shirt yarn is not stretchy okay and that's what we need for this project because the final result is gonna be firm not flabby okay you need something strong for hold your cell phone so i recommend use this t-shirt yarn i'm sharing the link here below in the description box where you can buy it also i am using a crochet hook 6.5 millimeters let's start with seven chains okay seven seven chains now we're gonna make five rows five rows of single crochet each row of six single crochet okay you're gonna need also these stitch markers they are very useful for these because you need to know where is your first stitch so it's very important you use this stitch stitches marker um this box little box has like a 200 markers so it's a very good deal i'm gonna share the link in the description box too if you want to buy it okay so to make the five rows of single crochet we're gonna start in the second chain one two three four five and six this is our last stitch okay six single crochet one two three four five and six this is our first row for the second row and the rest of the rows we're gonna work in the very first stitch the first single crochet we will not make in the chain one we don't need the chain one in this case so this is your first stitch one two three four five and six okay continue working like this until you get five rows of six single crochet okay okay i have the five rows one two three four and five now we're gonna make a border all around so let's start with the, this corner we already have one stitch here this is the single crochet we need a uh, chain one another single crochet in the same space this is our corner then we're gonna work three single crochet one two and three okay after the three single crochet we're gonna work another corner in the last stitch we're gonna work single crochet chain one another single crochet this is our second corner now we're gonna work four single crochet we're gonna hide the little tail 
one, two, three, and four. For the last stitch, I'm gonna work the other corner. Chain one, and single crochet one, chain one, and another single crochet. Okay, this is our third corner. Then we're gonna work four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay. This is our first stitch, okay? From the border. In this first stitch, we're gonna work. So, remove the hook. We're gonna stretch this loop, turn your work, and the very first stitch, insert the hook, and pull the loop. Just the loop through this. So you're gonna see this little loop here. We're gonna turn below this loop we just form or we just create. We're gonna insert the hook there, insert the hook through the loop, and we're gonna pull the main yarn, this one through all of this like this so we just finish our border and we are ready for the next row so we're gonna work uh, another border only with slip stitches okay one this is our first Stitch. Two, three. So continue working like this until you get the twenty six slip stitches all around, okay? All across to the end. Okay, I just finished the all the stitches here we're gonna have about 25 slip stitches so for the last stitch we're gonna work like we did before in the very first stitch we're gonna turn the work insert the hook in the first stitch gonna stretch this loop and we're gonna pull the loop through this so this will be in here in this space we're gonna pull the loop and the main yarn So we create our last stitch. Well, we are ready for the next row. We wanna work one single crochet in each slip, slip stitch, okay? So I'll start with the first one. We're gonna make chain one. Then in the first, slip stitch we're gonna work our first single crochet so hold your stitch marker and 
of these. Of these. Throw these. Like this. So we're gonna work all the single crochet all across to the end. Okay, I'm finishing here my twenty six single crochet. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull the loop, turn the work, and the very first stitch. And insert the hook there and we're gonna pull the loop and here I'm gonna insert the hook there insert the loop I'm gonna pull the yarn, the main yarn. There. So we are ready to start working this. We're gonna work only three sides of this little box or square. So it's one side, two, and three. This size we will not work in because this is the this is this part so we want to start working in this area we're going to make chain one and this is our first single crochet This is our first single crochet. We're gonna work 19 single crochet. Okay? Until here. Okay, we stop working here. I have 19 stitches, and this is my free stitches. They are like six or seven stitches here. So we want to turn the work and in this. For the next row, we want to work a normal row with no decrease. But for the next one, we want to make some decreases. Okay. So this is my first. This is the very first single crochet. We will insert the hook there and work the first single crochet you can mark it so you want to work one single crochet in each stitch to the end you're gonna have 19 stitches as well two Continue working. Okay, this is my last stitch. I'm gonna remove the marker. Okay, there. There you go. So, 19 stitches for the next row. We wanna decrease. You're gonna make a decrease in the first, in the beginning, in and in the end. So the decrease is skip the first one and work in the next one. This is your decrease. On the stitch, stitch marker. Okay. 
and continue working like that until you get here when you have when you remain when you have two stitches in the at the end you're gonna stop in order to make the other decrease so continue working like this okay this is the last two stitches at the end i'm gonna remove the marker so let me show you you have these two stitches we're gonna skip this and you're gonna work in the next one So you made another decrease. In total, you will have 17 stitches in this row. In the next row, you will not make in decreases. So one stitch in each row from previous row. Basically, you're gonna work one normal row, one decrease row, one normal row, one decrease row. That's, that is the pattern. So continue working until you get all your 17 stitches, okay? One single crochet in each stitch across to the end. Okay, for the next row, okay, I just complete my, my row. For the next row, we're going to make the decrease. Skip the first stitch and then work in the next one. Mark, mark your first stitch. So continue working one single crochet in each until you get the two last stitches here. Okay, for the last two stitches, I'm gonna make the other decrease. Skip this one and work in the next one. Let me make a zoom in. Skip this and work in this one. Okay, there you go. You're gonna have 15 stitches in total so for the next row we're gonna work a normal row with no decrease and you're gonna work 15 single crochet stitches one two all around until here okay. and finish and ending this row on the next row remember we will not make any decrease here Okay, we almost, we almost finished. For the next row, we're gonna work the last row. And the last row has a decrease. So skip this one and work in the next one. Like this. like this until you get here and the last two stitches remember we stop okay I'm here in the other side the other end so skip the next and work 
in the next one. Okay, we just finished. We're gonna have 13 stitches for this last row. Okay, now we almost finished, but we need to make a border all around, okay? So we're gonna start working that. And it's very easy. We just make one chain, one slip stitch, one chain, one slip stitch, one chain, one slip stitch, one chain, one slip stitch all around. That's the partner, so chain one. One slip stitch. Chain one. One slip stitch. Chain one. One slip stitch. And chain one. one slip stitch so keep working like that until you work you're gonna work all these here 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 all this around to the end okay okay guys I'm just finished here I'm gonna cut my yarn And I'm gonna just fasten up and wave the ends, okay? I'm gonna try to hide the yarn. So uh, there you go, we just finished this beautiful project. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put my cell phone inside and this is how it works. This border, this edge does not allow the cell phone to fall. So it's perfect. I like it, I love it. It's very firm, the cell phone don't, doesn't move. Don't worry, the cell phone will not fall. Because the shape of this thing is perfect for this. Look at this, the di diagonal shape. This is the back. And it's very pretty and this is very useful. I hope you like it, I hope you can Share this with your friends or make this for sell. It's a great idea for business. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments or your question. Thank you. Bye-bye.